Steve Main. I'm here with Dr. Nario. Um, if you want to reach out to me, you can get me at stevemain.com. If you have comments or suggestions or put those in the comment section. If you just want to find out more about me, you can do that at stevemain.com. Find out more about what I do. Um, Dr. Nario is with Biointegrative Health Center, uh, a clinic in Reno, Nevada. Uh, you can check them out online and see what all different treatments and everything that they do there. So thanks for being with us, doctor. Welcome. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again and happy new year to everybody. Yes. Okay. We're going to talk about peptides and peptides are, they've been all the craze for, I don't know, maybe they started really picking up maybe eight, 10 mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. but, um, they're very popular. And uh, there's hundreds of peptides. So first, um, from a medical standpoint or whatever you want to call it, what, what are peptides? How would you describe them? Well, Steve, peptides are huge. They're very huge now in the fitness and anti-aging communities. Uh, these are short strings of amino acids, around 2 to 50 amino acids in length. And anything with 50 or less is called a peptide. So these are what we, of course, the building blocks of proteins. And when there is no peptide, you have to remember no protein because it's the basic component of every, every uh, protein molecule out there. Compounds where two or more amino acids are joined together, uh, this is now what you call then a protein. Um, aging and stress, always amino acids and peptide productions drop. One reason the body starts to become weaker as we get older and also gain fat instead of muscle and skin starts to sag is because of the decrease in proteins or peptides and many roles in the body uh, that the peptide brings. Uh, not only could it build muscle for or fight wrinkles, uh, it has so many different roles. Even it can be a neurotransmitter and acting like a hormone. And it can also be a repair mechanism. So that's why peptides is a new thing. It's not really new, as you said, it's been there, but as now as I use it on patients, even on myself, uh, it's just so uh, amazing how you can see the, the wonders of, of these specific molecules. Yeah, you know, I use them too um, for growth hormone. And you know who else uses them? The liver king who got oh, busted. The liver king uses them. Yeah, joke. You yeah. probably don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> he's a huge fitness influencer that always said he never takes anything. But anyway. Oh, wow. OK. I, I digressed. He's so, on it. He's on it. Yeah, right. Lots of it. So, um, yeah, very popular. Um, so how what are some of the more popular uses for these peptides? Uh, what? Because I, I, I believe they have to be subscribed. Um, so um, prescribed. Sorry about that. <laughs> <That's okay>. um, <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, what, what are some of the more popular uses for some of these peptide chains? And as, as you get older and so on, you know, if you don't have enough protein, enough amino acids, your not, body's not going to be able to make them. So we can kind of target those with certain peptides, but so how can they be used? What are some of the more popular uses of certain peptides? Well, Steve, peptides are, are known for quick actions. You, it, it becomes immediately available for the body. The body doesn't need time and effort to form these amino acids. Not, they're not easy to, to spend. It's, 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 there's not much need to spend energy breaking down these, these amino acids, these peptides compared to larger proteins in our body small enough to be easily utilized and, and, and quickly be, be useful for the system. And it's more stable than amino acids after they enter the body. And amino acids are larger, um, a larger component. So you have to remember peptides, amino acids, proteins. That's it's from small, medium, and large. So well, you, it's, it's easy to, to use these things so fast that you don't have to go through these processes um, to, to actually get the, the, the action that you wanted for the body. And it retains its chemical structure. It's a better bang for your buck, uh, especially with peptide supplements. And in the world of sports and athletes, uh, 
the the use uh, is the most i mean it's so fast that it helps with wound healing reduce inflammation and even uh, as antioxidants the one that i use uh, a lot with my athletes would be thymosin beta 4 and uh bpc 157 so bp uh, these are more repair compounds or peptides and also it helps also the immune system in relation to again fighting inflammation after workouts heavy workouts Hmm. Yeah, it's it's interesting because it's kind of like I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like it's kind of a ready made. It it's a hack because your body doesn't have to break the protein apart into singular amino acids and then take those singular amino acids and put them into a small chain, which is the peptide that your body might be craving or needing. It, it's already formulated right into your body, right? Right. That is correct. Yeah. That's, uh, of course, that's going to be more effective and your, your body's going to love that. Uh, so how, how are these administered? How do you take them? I, I know I use an insulin needle. Uh, is that the only way? Um, well, Steve, there's so many ways of uh, doing peptides, different forms, oral, injectables, as you mentioned, creams, and even IV therapies. And again, the ones that when I emphasize administration of peptides and the, the fastest, one of the faster ways to really achieve um, results, um, it's so majority of my patients who use it, not much in relation to uh, what type of administration method you can use as a, as a contraindication. Everybody can, almost everybody can tolerate peptides. The thing here is um, I want to make sure that I mention this to our patients that um, healthy individuals are very safe. And again, when we talk about peptides, we get it in food also. But it's just that we bypass the gut. We do, as you mentioned, uh, injectable uh, creams, IV are better methods to get it from, uh, of course, because oral, there's so many enzymes in our gut that can still destroy it. And mm -hmm. the gut is very unpredictable in relation to absorption. That's why when you use topical peptides, uh, what I want to tell patients is minor side effects such as skin irritations, rashes, and itching. But again, very rare that I see that. I always want to remind everybody, get it from a reputable pharmacy. And you mentioned about uh, subscription or prescription. Uh, this is where we come in. We prescribe these peptides to these reliable pharmacies. And again, majority of the internet are unregulated. Uh, if they're, they're not requiring a prescription. It's made overseas, not meeting medical standards. It's almost like your college dorm room. And when we saw these um, and assessed these um, uh, over-the-counter peptides in the internet, and always uh, bad for sterility. Uh, again, the doses of drug, drugs are questionable and how they, how much is in there, lots of fillers and, and chemicals. But generally healthy, but still needs professional guidance due to possible, it can still do overdosing on it if you're not doing it the proper way. So we help our um, patients go through this properly. And again, I wouldn't advise pregnant breastfeeding mothers um, to, to do this alone. You definitely want your medical professional beside you with this. Yeah, and that leads me to what's probably my last question. And that is, if someone's interested in this, I know that they can um, call your clinic. That's Biointegrative Health Center. But I, as a patient of this product, I highly recommend that you do this under a doctor's supervision just to maximize the benefit that you might get um, because there's hundreds of these and wh which one is the right one for you and what your goals are. So uh, that's the first thing. It's really, really important. I advise to, to do this under... Um, a, a knowledgeable physician who knows about peptides um, and who, who kind of does this. I know that your clinic does uses peptides on a regular basis. So um, that's one choice. Um, but if they want to avoid other things. So my question is, how does someone get started? And what kind of advice would you give someone if they wanted to get started? Obviously, you can go to the website Biointegrative Health Center and call them, uh, especially if, if you're in um, Reno, Nevada, northern Nevada area. But what if they're not and they want to go talk to a, a physician face to face? 
What, what kind of advice would you give them if they want to get started on this? Well, Steve, uh, peptides are very safe, as I mentioned to you. But the thing here is with me, when I start them, I always want to make sure I do blood work uh, just to make sure that liver is fine, uh, kidneys are okay, and there's no infection going on. So that's very basic. Um, again, depending on the goals of the patient uh, in terms of what they want to achieve. But there, again, as you're right, there's so many of them out there. If, if your physician is knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the tools that they're using, they can definitely help many uh, patients out with this. So let me give you specific examples, then maybe this will help out in terms of understanding how can uh, somebody start uh, with peptides. For example, if somebody really wants to support their muscle gain, like for our athletes, or more for um, bodybuilders or even anti-aging, uh, as you mentioned, growth hormone is one of the things that actually helps in the specific process. And that's why we have growth hormone receptor uh, agonists or peptides, meaning it's not actual growth hormone that we give. It's more of uh, simulating your system to create more growth hormone properly uh, and naturally. So that's why this is um, the, the CGC ephemoralin that, uh, that, uh, that I give to my patients. Uh, this is actually good support for that. And also when you talk about um, body repair, so damaged wear and tear areas when you're running around doing uh, sports or activities, uh, TB4 or thymosin beta-4, which is a, a calf thymus uh, extract and it's rich in immune cells, mainly used to repair like uh, for tendons, ligaments, muscles, and injuries, stem cell maturation, increased blood vessels um, for more blood supplies for uh, faster repair and also helps decrease scar tissue. Another one is a BPC-157. This is usually found in uh, gastric juices. And it's not only for repairing tissue for athletes, but also if somebody has an ulcer, improved gastrointestinal uh, mucosal integrity, ulcerative colitis, um, people who use so much um, anti-inflammatories, Tylenol, ibuprofen, and damage their gut. Um, these things I also use. And also, uh, again, when you mentioned about a while ago, other forms like in aesthetics, there's also DHK copper that we use for, for face, wrinkles, and even hair restoration. So really depending on, on, the, on the things that you want to achieve, then uh, we choose the right um, peptide for you. And that's where the professionals come into play. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that this is not actual growth hormone. All this is is amino acids, which help your body work better and stimulate your body um, to do certain things, to be healthier. So that's the, the great thing about peptides. It's just amino acids come from the protein that you eat. Um, so, um, we thank you, doctor. Um, if you guys, like I said, you reach out to, uh, Dr. Nario, um, if you have questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section and we can probably get back to you on maybe some specific questions, uh, but also ask your doctor. And if your doctor is not familiar with them, maybe your doctor can refer you to a, someone who specializes more in this type of thing. So uh, that's Dr. Nario, Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Thank you, Steve, for having, as you all know, knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you the, the edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge. Happy New Year to everybody. And let's start the year right being healthy.